Be careful how you use it. So everybody, welcome to another episode of The Lap. That's Paul, I'm Brendan, and we are in the brand spanking new Dodge Hornet. RT. RT. The more powerful one. Yes. Which is actually a hybrid. Which is kind of weird. We're driving a hybrid mini SUV on a racetrack, but hey, this is Dodge and they're the people who put a Hellcat in a Durango and then stuck some awesome suspension and brakes on it, threw that on a racetrack and it works really good. So why not, right? Why not, exactly. I love that attitude. If it's possible, Dodge will probably try to figure it out. Yes. <laughs> I'm so disappointed that we have yet to get a Hellcat Pacifica minivan, but there's still time, I see. Time is going. We'll do a last call. Yeah, last call on the Hellcat minivan. <laughs> they use the sport mode to get the full extent of the power out of here, and that's what we are going to do. I'm going to put on this performance page. We have technical gauges. Oh, it's got a turbo gauge and a torque gauge. This is actually very nice. Yeah, and an e-hybrid. It's a little small by today's standards, but it's still, it's a nice screen. Right. Okay, and oh, here we go. we go. Okay, so there's a lot of waiting for the buildup. Acceleration. <laughs> yeah. It's lackluster, let's just say. A little say. lackluster, yep. Brakes feel pretty good. It's moving a lot of weight, yeah. including us two. It's got some body lean. I mean, it's an SUV. We gotta put that in our heads. Yeah. First, first and foremost. Look, if it brakes well and steers well, we can deal with a little bit of body lean. A uh, Miata's got a lot of body lean, so. Okay, here we go. Straight away into the chicane that right, they right, put up. 85 right there, a 91, 95 under the bridge. Seems like the brakes. Uh, yeah, the brakes are actually pretty, pretty good. Decent. Okay. Left, right, left. Acceleration though is very lackluster. I mean, it's it's a four-cylinder hybrid SUV. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It's just a turbo four under the hood. Okay. Well, that's that's a, I, I'm actually pretty impressed with the brakes. I just took the Dodge Challenger uh, Black Ghost around here, and uh, I think the brakes on that thing were pretty well worn. Maybe this is just a fresher set, but. Seems like it bites pretty good. Seats aren't very supportive for track use. I no, think. and Definitely. this is never really intended to be on the track. Yes, I, uh, so, I highly doubt there so will be a lot we're, of... So we're doing something that this car was never intentional to do. No, but they did build it capable to do it. Yes. Yeah, I, I don't foresee a lot of Hornet drivers just taking <laughs> to Road America in there. Hornet RTs, but hey, it's very cool that they let us do it. Seems like you're hunting for a gear. Or yeah, it's it's uh, it's hunting right now. Yeah, in a weird way, like it's revving up and down. You know what? I bet you this is a CVT. Ah, that's what it sounds like. That could be, could be a CVT. Well. Here we are. You know what? It mean it's. it's for what it is, Brendan, it's it's not bad, you know? It's it's pretty good. Yeah, I have to say that uh, a lot like the other SRT products, although this is not an SRT specific product, but they make some pretty interesting stuff for the racetrack, even though you would never think it would make it around a racetrack. Or at least not. Uh, I hate be. that you can't. Yeah. I hate it. <laughs> yeah. Can almost barely get back up to 70 after that chicane. Canada, nicely done. And it just, come on, come on, give me the power. Yeah, I would say this is the least powerful vehicle we've taken around the track today. We've been in quite a few. I would include the GTI, which felt a lot faster than this. However, all that being said, a surprisingly capable track car. Right? Yeah, I mean, again, it's never intended to go on the track. They're just showing you that you can. 
like I said, I mean, I've already said this, for what it is, it's not bad. No. It's, it's actually, um, you know, you can have some fun in it. And we knocked 0.6 miles per gallon off the average fuel economy. <laughs> 12.5 on a track, I will tell you, is actually really, that's about more than double your uh, typical <laughs> mileage on a track. So, if this was an endurance race, and we had to worry about fuel economy, <laughs> you know, this half as many pit pretty, stops. This would do pretty good. Not bad, right? Okay. So, there you have it. The new Dodge Hornet RT, track capable, just not really sure you want to take it on the track. That's right. Well, so... Hey, this has been another episode of The Lap. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, and leave us a comment. And we'll see you next time here on We Are Motor Driven with Sons of Speed for another episode of The Lap. Take care.